The Duchess of Cambridge most so stopping Tiara's reveal. If there's one thing most royal fans look forward to, it's seeing their favorite royal ladies in the sparking tiara. There have been a number of fun occasions when the Duchess of Cambridge has popped on a very own piece of diamond headwear, and she always looks magical. We don't often see Kate wear a tiara. The exclusive accessories are safe only for state dinners and receptions at Buckingham Palace. And of course, she wore a tiara at her royal wedding to William back in 2011. The Duchess has a particular favorite when it comes to accessory, and that's the famous Lover's Knot tiara. Scroll down to see all of Kate's regal tiara moments. Just before Christmas, the mother of three accompanied Prince William to the Queen's annual diplomatic corps reception at Buckingham Palace and looks nothing short of dazzling in Princess Diana's lover's knot tiara. Diamond and pearl headpiece was given to Diana as a wedding gift from the Queen in 1981. In December 2018, Kate wore the lover's knot tiara to the Queen's annual diplomatic corps reception Team with a custom-made baby, Jenny Beckham gown with Jibur and Blishman, and the perfect winter look, Riri Khan. Duchess Kate also wore the Lover's Knot tiara in October 2018, when she attended a lavish state banquet at Buckingham Palace to honor King William Alexander and Queen Maxima during the visit to the UK. Kate wore a beautiful blue Alexander Mark Queen gown with stunning hair pits. It was jewels, jewels, jewels for Kate in December 2017. The royal was photographed arriving at Buckingham Palace for a diplomatic dinner with her husband Prince William, and she looked elegant in a white gown with diamond necklace and a favorite lover's knot tiara again. This time, Kate teamed it with some matching pearl drop earrings. A similar look to her previous tiara outing, here we see Kate in the exquisite Lover's Knot tiara again. She clearly loves it, as she arrives at another state banquet at Buckingham Palace back in July 2017 to welcome King Philip and Queen Letizia of Spain, who love her rugby and diamond next place also. Surprise, surprise, the lover's not tiara again. But this time, Kate wears the headpiece with an eye-catching red dress. The royal wear the jewel heirloom for the diplomatic cost reception back in December 2016. You've got gadgets, and it's the lover's not. Yeah, this is the very first time that Kate done her now trusty tiara, where she wore a pretty lace gown and dropped a earrings to a diplomatic reception at Buckingham Palace in December 2015. In October 2015, Kate wore the lotus flower tiara again for the visit of Chinese president, teaming with, with the red Jenny Beckham gown. The first time we saw Kate wear a tiara after a wedding was a diplomatic crops reception in December 2013. She stunned it in a different piece the lower lotus flower tiara, which once belonged to Queen Mother picture. Originally, a necklace from Garrett, King George VI's wife, had piece dismantled and made into a dazzling habit. The Queen Mother passed the tiara to her daughter, Princess Margaret, in 1959, and the royal wear the jewels on numerous occasions through the years. Margaret loaned a tiara to her daughter-in-law, Serena Stanhope for a wedding to David Armstrong Jones in 1993, and that was its last appearance in public before the Duchess of Cambridge wore the happiest in 2013. We can't forget Kate's wedding tiara. The Duchess wore the exquisite Katia Hello tiara on her Saturday, which features over 800 diamonds. King George the Sixth first a commissioned Cartier to design the tiara for his wife and the Queen Mother in 1936 and it was then passed on to Queen Elizabeth on the 18th birthday.